you've been here before and if you're new what we do here is cooking gardening and crafts so today you can see I'm in the kitchen and I'm just going to be doing something quickly I've got my um, granddaughter's birthday coming up on the weekend and I'm taking cupcakes so um, I'm just going to get busy and do all that but before I uh, do get started I'll just let you know that I am working from a cake mix now it's not a cake mix that you buy at the supermarket I go to um, a place called uh, cake decorating central and it's um, a cake type of cake mix that the, that the professionals use so it's bulk makes a lot but I have found in the past I can make cupcakes I can you know get the flour and the butter and the sugar and do all that I don't know what it is I can never get them to rise perfectly and evenly and um, we don't want especially when you're decorating them you don't want lopsided cupcakes so I've tried all different things moving them around in the oven different temperatures um, different recipes I've tried um, box cake mixes from the supermarket nothing has worked until I found the um, professional cake mix you know what the professionals use so uh, I'll just show you what I'm going to be doing with that I've already got a batch in the oven uh, and I'll be getting on there the chocolate ones I'm just going to be making the vanilla ones so come along with me and I'll show you what I'm doing so I've already put the cupcake mixture into a bowl now they say that this makes 45 excuse me I got the hiccups <laughs> this makes 45 uh, cupcakes and um, it's one kilo of mixture I was just trying to think what I was going to say then and all I need to add to this one is 450 mils of water which I have here and five eggs that's all I need to do and then I just need to beat it so let's add all that so as I said very quick and um, I when I used to make a lot of cupcakes I do make cupcakes um, for parties people ask me to and uh, I always used to keep these on hand but um, I don't make so many anymore so let's mix it all together I'll come back after I've mixed it so as the instructions say I've just uh, mixed that for a minute now I'm just scraping down the sides and then I need to mix it for another two minutes so we'll just scrape it all out of there too okay okay that's all mixed now I'm just going to bring over my prepared pans now you can see I actually had some chocolate mixture left over so I've got that in the first three and then I'm going to fill the others so, and then um, we'll be able to put them in the oven okay so So I've got another one here I'll come back when I've done all that now I've got the two lots done the two pans done so I'm just going to put those in the oven at 150 and it doesn't give me a time because all ovens vary so I just have to uh, keep checking them when they're firm and they spring back when I touch them in the center that's when they're ready so um, we'll get these in the oven and cook them and then we'll come back uh, while they're cooking I will make the butter frosting that I'm going to be using on them so I'll bring you back in a moment for that right so what I've got for my butter icing I don't have butter I have margarine and again it's because people are lactose intolerant so there's 400 grams of margarine there And 
all I'm going to do is to beat that. Oh, I didn't mean to turn that on. Uh, all I need to do is to beat this for a little bit. Now I don't know if you can tell but that is a little bit paler than when I first started. Uh, it's still very yellowy, but that's just the nature of using margarine. Now, here I've got one kilo of soft icing sugar mixture. And this, it, how much you need varies, and there's a lot of reasons why it would vary. Today, it's um, quite warm. Here in Australia, um, the temperature is probably sitting around 20 and it's actually 10 o'clock at night. Um, so it's quite warm. So that means that that's probably a lot softer than it normally would be if we were in colder weather. So it's how much icing sugar, there's a lot of factors. And the brand of, um, of margarine that you use also determines it. So we're just beating that in. And again, scraping down. some more.
Now the consistency I'm looking for, it's almost there. Uh, something that I can pipe but will hold, still hold its shape. Um, I'll add the rest of that. Now, I may have added a little too much, but if I have, I'll just uh, put a dash of milk in there. That's just right. So we'll just scrape all that again. Now, on the last mix, I'm going to add some food coloring and I'm going to add some vanilla essence. I'll just go and get them and then I'll be back. Okay, we'll add a dash of vanilla essence and my food coloring. Now they've asked for a mint green and I'm just having a look at the greens that I've got here. I don't know why but I've got three bottles of the same colour. Um, three bottles of green so let me choose one that's already opened. That one's already been opened. Just a dash. showing up on the camera but that is a lovely light mint green and it's just what I was asked for um, what I'm doing now there is a little bit of coloring that was splashed so I want to make sure that it's mixed in yeah and the bottom is not mixed so just making sure that the cover color is spread evenly through the icing and there's no patchy bits which there are currently Now, I think it's a little bit pale. And I want to add some more color to it. But because I don't want to add too much, take a toothpick and my coloring. I dip the toothpick in and then I'll just put it in like that. That way we don't have any worry of too much color going in there. So we'll have a look at that. Okay, there we have it. That's all done. Now I'm just gonna get my piping bag and I'll show you how I feel that camera keeps shutting down um, we'll see how long this lasts so I'm just going to go and get my cupcakes and then I'll show you how I pipe onto it now you can see that I've already put my cupcakes into a box and I find this the easiest way rather than handling them too much they're in the box, I decorate them, shut the box, I put the box in the freezer and when I need them, I take them out the morning that I need them and then off I go to the party, it's all done and I don't have any worries. Okay, I think I might have overfilled this a little bit but we'll see how we go. So I hope you can see from there, I'm just piping this. So starting on the outside edge, going around and into the middle. Piping it around into the middle. Gently squeezing the bag as I go. 
holding the top so that it doesn't go backwards, it goes out the nozzle. Okay, we'll just pop that in there. Now I'll show you a bit closer. Okay, here's a closer look at them. And what I'm going to be adding to them is uh, something called sanding sugar. I'll just get that. Oh, here it is. It's just near me. So this is a product, edible sanding sugar, and I'm just going to sprinkle that over the top. So I'll bring you back when I've done that. Okay, there you have it. The sanding sugar is on the cupcakes. They're looking very nice. These are the chocolate ones. I've still got to do, I've got, um, I've got four boxes. There's only eight in a box. And um, so that'll give me 40. And um, yeah. What I don't use, I'll ask how many they need. Uh, there is another party coming up in a month and they'll last that long in the freezer. And all I have to do, as I said, is to get them out on the day and in the morning, take them along. They don't take long to defrost and all the work's been done. Okay, thanks for joining me. It's quite hot here. Um, I don't know how I managed to do that. I've got to hurry and get those in the freezer. I hope that you enjoyed that and I hope that it shows you that um, you might look at things that you see other people do and think, oh, well, I could never do that. Um, yes, I have been making cupcakes for years and years and years, but making that, you can see, if you don't want to make the frosting, you can actually buy it. Um, you, can make, you can buy buttercream frosting uh, at a cupcake store, and um, that's one step that you don't have to do, but you could see how easy it is to make, and I used margarine, so that makes it a bit cheaper for me. Um, one kilo, one bag of icing sugar mixture and a little bit of colouring, a little bit of uh, vanilla essence and it was all done. So um, you can do all sorts of things. You, um, I also make cupcakes just like this and I get some Easter eggs, the little ones, and I put them on top and I uh, take them along and we have Easter get together. So that's also another idea that you can do. So play with have fun and I'd love to hear your comments if you have a go so thanks for joining me again and have a great day bye